So frequently we're going to use Moodle to put links in. And um, because you're linking to other parts of the web, you have a couple options of how those links are displayed. Let me show you first the three options, and then um, I can go over how to do it. So um, this is just my English two page. And for the age of reason and revolution, I was pointing them to some websites. So uh, if you click on the Ben Franklin, the Patrick Henry one is the more straightforward one. It's just a straight link. So it's going to take them directly to the give me liberty or give me death page. And they'd have to hit the back arrow to go back to our website. There's also an option to keep them within the Moodle page. It's uh, if you click on class gallery, you'll see that I'm still within the Moodle page, but here um, in kind of an inset window and in an embedded window is a different website that I took them to. And in fact, if they click on that, all the links here are going to stay valid, right? So like you can click around um, and the back arrow is uh, available for the embed window which means that if they go up here and hit back, it takes them back as if they were in that page. So this is a good technique to use if you don't want them to get out of the Moodle page. Um, and uh, that's another option for doing a link is to have it embed. A third option um, is to have it come up as a pop-up. Okay, so if I look at uh, the Ben Franklin uh, link, what it does is it launches it, but it launches it in a pop-up window so that instead of taking me off this Moodle page, it basically just like creates a new window. This is a little bit of a problem if they have pop-up blocked, um, but um, and they should be familiar on how to disable their pop-up blocker. Uh, if you notice, when it takes them into this, it takes them in a pop-up window so it doesn't really have like the forward and back arrows. Um, which is uh, not great. I mean, I wish it would be a, f a full window. Okay, so those are the three options. Let's look at how to do that. Um, so what I did is I added an activity and a resource. Okay, this, this time um, the resource that I'm adding is a URL. Um, so I'm going to hit add. Okay, um, the name of the URL is what they'll see on the page. So I'm going to add MUHS website. The description they see, uh, if it's going to be like a uh, pop-up, or I mean, I'm sorry, an embed. So, so I'm just going to put something there. And then the external URL is www.muhs.edu. Here's where you put kind of the, like the address, the web address. Okay. Um, by default, the display is automatic. Almost always, that's just going to mean that it opens. Uh, not in a, in a separate window, but opens in its own window. It's just going to function as a link. The embed is what I did with the art gallery. So if you embed it, um, it's going to uh, stick it within the window. Uh, open is almost the same as automatic. Uh, it's going to open it. Every once in a while, if you do automatic, it'll take them to a separate page where there'll be the link again and they have to click on it. Um, but almost always automatic opens the same as open does. So that's going to uh, change the page from your Moodle page to whatever the link is. And then obviously in pop-up is the pop-up one. And when you do the pop-up, you can actually uh, pick the dimensions of the window that's going to pop up. That's why these became um, available. So um, those the, the appearance menu uh, is how I kind of control how I want the link uh, to behave. And um, in general, we probably always want to do the same thing. So uh, get your uh, students familiar with the fact that when they click on a URL, it's either going to pop up a window or embed it or, or take them directly there. OK, and then um, you do, let's do embed. You do save and return to course. OK, so there's my new uh, link that I made, uh, MUHS website. And if I click on it, it's going to take me into an embedded um, uh, window for our website and I can move around in our website without ever leaving the Moodle page around it.